Bad Ones of Python. This is Prof G, and in this Circuit Python School video, we're going to learn to sense gestures using the Adafruit APDS9960 multi-sensor. And along the way, we'll find out that our Circuit Python code can detect a Jedi in our Raspberry Pi Pico. These aren't the droids you're looking for. So let's make something awesome. The Jedi animation is from the wonderful Star Wars sticker app available in the iOS App Store. The sound and images used in this video are strictly for educational, non-commercial purposes. Star Wars and related characters, images, and media are trademarks of the Walt Disney Corporation. Do not use commercially without permission from the firm. Now, if you've been following the course lessons in order, you've already seen this board. As a recap, the APDS9960 is a multi-sensing marvel, and this version has STEMIQT ports, so with a simple cable, we can add it to any board with a STEMIQT port. And in a previous lesson, we used this board to detect proximity. It can also detect light and color, but in this lesson, we're going to use it to detect gestures up, down, left, and right. And it can do this because the board has an infrared LED light. Now, infrared is light beyond the red in the ROYG Biv color spectrum, so it's light that humans can't see, but our sensor can. And in fact, the light is detected by four photo sensors in different locations on the sensor. So if you use this device, make sure that the sensor is facing forward with the lens facing out. Make sure that this front center part is not blocked. And a quick note on wiring before we begin, if you've been following CircuitPython School, you already know how to attach a STEMI QT cable to a Pico or Pico W board. We've previously use this with a less than one dollar cable to add STEMI QT to the Pico and the wiring is blue or SDA goes to GP4, yellow or SCL goes to GP5 power to 3.3 volt out and any ground and even though this board doesn't have a speaker you can use any speaker with its own power supply that has a standard audio plug just clip a ground wire to the sleeve or base of the audio plug and clip the tip of this audio plug to your audio in pin I'm using GP15 for this example now, if you have a different board with different pinouts, just make sure that you update the code accordingly. And in an earlier CircuitPython school lesson, we learned how to use this sensor for proximity sensing, but now we're going to use it to sense gestures. CircuitPython libraries allow for the detection of moving a hand a couple of inches above the sensor, and the sensor can detect left, right, up, and down motions. So to use the sensor, first import APDS9960 from Adafruit underscore APDS9960 dot APDS9960. That sounds a bit redundant, but that's what we need for the code that we're writing. Now, as mentioned in earlier videos, this board communicates with our microcontroller using a communication mechanism called I squared C or I2C. And this is also the communication mechanism used by the STEMI QT connector standard. And in earlier lessons, we learned that when using the STEMI QT wiring that we just showed, we set up our connection as a standard I squared C object like this, and this code also works on any board with a built-in STEMIQT port. Then use the I2C object that you just created to create an APDS9960 object. I'm going to call mine multi underscore sensor since I prefer my variables to have understandable names, not Elon Musk baby names. Then with the multi sensor set up, you have to set both the enable underscore proximity and enable underscore gesture properties to true. If you forget to set the proximity property, you're not going to crash, but your code won't work. Then to get the sensor reading, just check the multi sensors dot gesture open and close paren method. You don't have to pass anything between the parens and this should return one of four integers, one, two, three, four, for detecting up, down, left, and right, respectively. And now you should know enough to make this work, so why don't we start off with a challenge, and then I'll show you a solution. So this is the Jedi Mind Tricks Challenge, and my students will use the famous clips from Star Wars where Obi-Wan Kenobi waves a hand in front of stormtroopers to avoid the confiscation of our favorite droids. My students have the sound file for the lesson in the Jedi folder at bit.ly slash circuitpython-school-files. You can download whatever files you want to use on the internet, make sure you're using them for non-commercial purposes though, and to complete the challenge, set up the APDS9960 sensor to detect gestures, and if a left gesture is detected, play not the droid droids.wave, and if a right gesture is detected, play no ID dot wave. These aren't the droids you're looking for. You don't need to see his identification. So why don't you pause, give this a shot, I know you can do it based on what you've learned in earlier lessons, and when you're ready, let's compare answers. So I'll assume that you've either visited the URL that I showed and downloaded the Jedi folder and copied that to your CircuitPy volume, or that you're using your own WAV files and copied those over to your board. So this is my gesture sensing code, and I'm going to import time, comma, board, and from audio core, I'm going to import WAV file, capital WAV, capital file, and from Adafruit underscore APDS9960 dot APDS9960, I'm going to import, and in all caps, APDS9960. 
Then I'm going to set up my gesture sensor. I'll create an I2C variable equal to board dot stemma underscore I2C, all caps, open and close parens. That line should also work on any board with a stemma QT port. Then I'm going to call my sensor multi underscore sensor. I'll set that equal to, in all caps, APDS9960. That's the class. Passing in I2C, the object that I just created above. Then I'm going to set multi sensor dot enable underscore proximity equal to true and multi sensor dot enable underscore gesture equal to true. So remember, when detecting gestures, you have to set both enable proximity and enable gesture equal to true. If you forget enable proximity, your code won't show an error, but it won't work. Then we'll set up audio to play wave files, and we've done this in previous lessons from audio PWMIO import PWM all caps, then capital audio, capital out, as capital audio, capital out. Then we're going to configure audio out and we're going to set the path where the sounds can be found. So we'll create a variable called audio and set that equal to audio out, capital A, capital O, passing in board.gp15. So that's the pin where I have the tip of my audio out jack clipped to. Make sure you change this if you're using a different configuration. And my path is going to be equal to, in double quotes, Jedi, all lowercase with a slash at the end. Remember the slash at the end divides the folder named Jedi with the file name that we'll pass in in just a bit. This assumes that you downloaded the Jedi folder that I mentioned earlier in the lesson and copied it to your CircuitPy volume. And you can use other sounds too, but just make sure that you change the folder and file names if you need to. Then we're going to use the play sound function that we've set up and used in lots of other CircuitPython school videos. So we'll define that def play underscore sound passing in file name colon with open and in parentheses that's path plus file name comma in double quotes rb we're going to read in the binary first close parens as wave underscore file colon then we'll create a variable to hold the wave converted data we'll call that wave set that equal to wave file that's capital w capital f and in parentheses pass in the wave underscore file we just created above and then we can say audio dot play and in parentheses wave that's the file that we just converted to a wave then while audio dot playing colon pass that just means wait until the file is done playing so most of this is set up that we've seen before and our while true loop is going to be really easy first we just get the multi sensors gesture value so we'll put that in a variable called gesture set that equal to multi underscore sensor dot gesture open and close parens and then we'll say if gesture equals equals three colon that means we've swiped left we'll print left and we'll play underscore sound not dash the dash droids dot wave then shift tab to outdent to where the if is. Then if the gesture equals equals four colon, we'll print right and we'll play sound not dash ID dot wave. That's it. Let's open the serial console, save, no errors. And make sure your speaker's on. I've wasted a lot of time trying to figure out why things didn't work and my speaker was just off. And let's try our Jedi mind trick. Swipe left. These aren't the drawings you're looking for. Ho <laughs> oh, ho, there's Obi-Wan. You don't need to see his identification. There's a Jedi in our Pico. These aren't the drawings you're looking for. Oh, that swipe didn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work. You don't need to see his identification. Nice work, Circuit Pythonista. You are now Jedis of the APDS 9960. Why don't we double tap on the tab and save this to the Circuit Python School folder on our computer? I'll call this gesture sensing with APD 9960. Then I'll close this tab. Then I'll click on load and I'll make sure that I load code.py off my CircuitPy volume so that I don't change the code that I just saved to my laptop. So excellent work, Python Pad 1, getting the APDS 9960 multi sensor working on recognizing gestures. And remember, everyday low cost sensors aren't perfectly reliable, as you've probably seen in any public restroom, if you couldn't conjure a paper towel or get faucets to grant water when you wanted them to. But I think your Python powered Jedi mind tricks are awesome. That's quite a skill, and there are more great skills to come. So keep learning and use the Force to make something awesome.